We're standing in front of St. Catherine's Monastery, built on the base of Jebel Musa, the Mountain of Moses, and founded by Helena, the mother of Constantine, in the fourth century AD. The monastery was never destroyed in antiquity, and over the years accumulated one of the rarest libraries of manuscripts that exist in the world today. In the 1800s, a Russian scholar by the name of von Tischendorf came to this place as he was pilgrimaging through the Holy Land. And he came and was shown the library, and in a wastebasket in a corner of one of the rooms, he noticed manuscripts that were being thrown away. He picked up a couple of sheets out of the stationery, and having been trained in the Greek language, he recognized the lettering and what the parchment had to say. It was a text out of the New Testament. Tischendorf began rummaging in the garbage more and more and began stacking up leaves, all from New Testament books and even some Old Testament books. What he had found was the famous Codex Sinaiticus, one of the earliest copies of the entire New Testament known, and most of the Old Testament as well. Tischendorf went to the monks and asked permission for him to borrow it for a few months, and so he took it back with him to Russia where he gave it as a gift to the Tsar of Russia. A few months later, he came back and he found more pieces of this manuscript and took it with him again under the agreement that he would bring it back. Unfortunately, he never did. A few years later, the Tsar of Russia sold the manuscript to the British Museum for an exorbitant sum, and today the Codex Sinaiticus is in the British Museum. In the 1970s, however, as a new process of inventory was taking place in the monastery here of the library, several more leaves were found of the same manuscript. And today, even though the Codex Sinaiticus that the British Museum has in its possession has been uh, digitized, the other three leaves, they hope, will someday also be added to the book. Nobody today is allowed into this extraordinary library. It's kept away from visitors ever since von Tischendorf's second visit and his return that never took place. Today, when you go into the monastery, at least in the past few years, you had a copy or actually the original letter that Tischendorf signed indicating that he would bring that manuscript back. So as we look at these ancient walls of this incredible monastery, which was never destroyed from the fourth century all the way on to the present period, we appreciate the kinds of treasures that it holds and the Greek Orthodox monks that have kept these treasures over the years so that we can better understand the Bible today.